Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse, the Flash, and some cancelled shows, but also some new Arrowverse-related content that is going to be coming our way. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So we have a couple of articles to go over. One's from TV Line, one is from comicbook.com. We're going to be breaking them down and talking about everything that they discuss. But first things first, we're going to be going over the TV line article because it's to do with The Flash, but also to do with the cancelled Legends of Tomorrow. So as you guys know, Legends was cancelled maybe about a month ago, just after they announced that Batwoman was cancelled. Then after that, they cancelled Naomi. Then they went on to cancel like a whole range of other shows on the CW that weren't Arrowverse related, so the CW is just on this like killing spree of its shows. And so naturally, lots of people have wondered how can these shows return, how can they actually be brought back somehow and get a proper ending, because there is a big difference between ending a show like Arrow and Supergirl, which got proper endings that were planned, compared to something like Legends of Tomorrow, which ended in a way that which wasn't exactly how they wanted to end the show, and basically it's just cut off, it's, the story is not finished. And so, talking about that, TV Line had an idea. So, in an interview with Eric Wallace, the showrunner of The Flash, they pitched something to him. So, I'm going to read the article, basically they set up the idea that they had and that they pitched to Eric, and then we'll get Eric's answer after reading this out. So, they go ahead and say this, Fact, Sarah, Ava, and everyone else were in custody of the Time Police when what would be Legends of Tomorrow's final season came to a close, so their series finale, which was technically just the season finale. And then another fact, The Flash is the last remaining Arrowverse shows whose characters regularly interact with Legends. And now their proposition, what if The Flash next season had a crossover of sorts in which Barry and Co can get wind of their friends being jailed and stage a superheroic prison break. And then they go on to say, out of the 19 dramas that the CW aired, this TV season, Legends marked the ninth in audience and trailed only All-American, The Flash and Superman Lois in the demo. The Arrowverse series wrapped with season seven with a finale that introduced a DC Comics character, Booster Gold, who told the Legends that they were being arrested for time crimes. The showrunner of the show went on to say it's going to have a huge impact on a potential season 8 in that they are going to be in jail. That is what the showrunner previously told TV Line before the cancellation came in, so there was plans for season 8 and the fact that they would be in jail, they would break out of jail, but now that is not the case because Legends has been cancelled, that means their story is cut off, the Legends are left in that prison, we don't know what's going to happen to them. Are we going to see any characters ever again? You can presume we're going to see more of them, like Ray Palmer was teased to come back to The Flash when he appeared in Armageddon. However, he is not linked to the current Legends because he is obviously a retired Legend. So I'm wondering how are we going to ever see Sarah, Ava, and all these characters again? No matter what, we're probably not going to see all of them. We'll see like one or two of them somewhere in the Arrowverse. But I think it's an interesting proposition that TV Line had about, you know, maybe using a crossover next season on, say, The Flash to break them out of prison and that be the kind of ending for Legends that Legends will never get because it got cancelled. And so they go on to say elsewhere in the episode, Sarah learned that she was pregnant with Ava's baby, which means that Legends fans would surely love at least some sense of closure and so would TV Line. So during a recent chat, with Flash showrunner Eric Wallace, I outright pitched the Speedster series to do as proposed above and go rescue Legends. Wallace got a kick out of the idea, the thing is the Flash itself had been on track for the current season to potentially be a farewell run because it wasn't confirmed if they were going to get a ninth season or not until the stars aligned in January for a renewal for season 9 of the Flash, meaning season 9 could instead mark the Flash's own swan song if season 9 turns out to be the final season, but that hasn't been announced as of yet, and as every such minute will be precious in season 9, if it is The Flash's final season, which is highly unlikely in my opinion, and this is me talking right here. But Eric Wallace is quoted as saying in the TV Line article, I don't know even what my order is as far as the number of episodes in season 9. 
Wallace told TV Line earlier this month, Going to save the legends, as much as I'd love to do that, that's not something that is very easy to do in a season when I may have to wrap up my own story. I want to be honest and not get anybody's hopes up, so that is Eric's reply to their proposition. Obviously, he would like to cross over and he wants to do as many crossovers as possible, but like I said in yesterday's video, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out, it's on the channel. Basically, I talk about how Eric Wallace in another interview talked about how they're probably not going to do a crossover next season. There's probably not going to be a big crossover because there are still COVID protocols in place, meaning that crossovers on a large scale aren't possible. However, small scale crossovers are definitely possible. And it seems based on what Eric Wallace has been teasing in the last couple of months that he has a plan for like a mini crossover similar to Armageddon at the start of season nine when it premieres in 2023 next year however that's not to say the legends can't show up in it although i think it's very unlikely that they go down a similar route to the proposition in this article because that would be a legend centric crossover and that would be a kind of departure from what the flash is doing and if season 9 of the flash turns out to be the final season that is precious time and they probably wouldn't want to waste it on that However, they might want to have some characters from Legends show up like Ray did in Armageddon. So maybe somehow they can get Sarah in it and give some sort of closure. Similar to the likes of how Legends gave a little bit of closure to Constantine. Because if you guys remember, Constantine Season 1 was on NBC. It got cancelled and it was left on a big cliffhanger. Luckily for the Legends, it's not that big. However, being in prison is still fairly big, so that's going to leave a lot of fans rubbed the wrong way, as well as Sarah being pregnant and never kind of finding out what they're going to be in the future because they just didn't get time to tease that and to get to the actual point. So that is what they would have done in Season 8. So it's interesting to hear Eric's response to this. I mean, it's very obvious that it's very unlikely this is ever going to happen and I think a revival of Legends is almost impossible unless somehow HBO Max really thought you know they could make it big on HBO Max but I don't think it's going to be the case because as previously mentioned in the TV line article it did pretty decent for the CW it retained its demo but it didn't do very well in terms of viewership it was number ninth and it never really was near the top even as an Arrowverse show. So that is where Legends was left off and sadly I don't think we're going to see a conclusion to this storyline but we may see some characters pop up here and there later down the line in the Arrowverse on any of the shows. But for now let's go ahead and go over to the article from comicbook.com. This is a very interesting article because the title is this. DC Comics announces new dreamer graphic novel from Supergirl star Nicole Maines. So transgender superhero and Supergirl fan favorite Nia Now slash Dreamer is about to get her own graphic novel. The news was announced by DC Comics on Thursday following initial reviews for next week's DC Pride 2022 anthology which is a very great series. I read it last year. DC Pride was great. It's a series of short stories packed into one anthology and one of the story is going to be Dreamer related like it was last year. That was the premiere issue of Dreamer in the comics which was awesome that actually linked to Supergirl as well so technically canon with the Arrowverse and so apparently Nicole Maines is working on the new Dreamer graphic novel that is going to be released by DC Comics with art by Rai Hickman and so along with the announcement the news was announced with a piece of promo art for the series uniting Dreamer with characters from different comic book stories and the character on the front cover is in fact from DC YA graphic novel Galaxy the Prettiest Star. It showcases Nia now aka Dreamer with this character from that comic and a dog and it's just a very fun comic you can see the transgender flag on the wall in the background behind Nia but this marks a big step like beyond just Nia returning this is actually Nicole Maines writing a whole 
graphic novel based on the character. Obviously we all know she's extremely connected and we've been theorizing when is Nia going to return to the Arrowverse because out of all the Supergirl characters I think her story was cut off the most. Even though they had a very nice ending and Nia had a great way to end, I feel like there was so much more stories that they could have explored with the character and maybe Brainy as well alongside her and seeing her actually make that transition to the comic book world is actually really great and the fact that it's coming from Nicole herself is just even better. And so now she is a fully fledged comic book character. If you guys didn't know, Dreamer wasn't actually in the comics before. Nicole actually brought her character to life on Supergirl. Only a relative of her in the comics existed in past Legion of Superheroes storylines. But now seeing that she is actually having her own graphic novel, being in DC Pride once again, that means she's going to at some point be integrated into the greater DC universe, I would presume because why not like you could include her with the new flash who is also transgender that would be an interesting storyline pairing the two of them up especially because i feel they're similar in some way but they're also quite different in other ways and i've really enjoyed both of their comic book storylines recently and so i'm very much so looking forward to seeing this new dreamer series and in fact it is titled dreamer i don't know when exactly it's coming out but DC in their announcement said it's coming soon and Nicole is going to be writing it, she's going to be leading the graphic novel down the sort of path that she wants to lead. Obviously this path is going to be quite separate from Supergirl because this is a Dreamer solo series or Dreamer graphic novel specifically. So it's not going to be like an extended storyline, it will pretty much be wrapped up into this one graphic novel. But with that in mind and what she's said in the past with interviews about the other appearances of Dreamer in the comics that the first story that she was in when you actually saw a cameo by Supergirl was probably going to be one of the final times we're going to see them paired up in the comics unless something changes in the near future because for now it seems Nicole wants to explore Dreamer as a kind of solo hero with a couple of friends helping here and then but just you know reinventing her comic book storyline away from Supergirl and being so influenced by what happened on the show and basically creating a new avenue for Dreamer. So hopefully you guys are excited about this. I am super excited to actually get my hands on this when it eventually comes out and we'll be sure to cover it on the channel because at the end of the day it is a Supergirl related spin-off even though it's not a TV show it is still important to the Arrowverse because this is a character that was created in the Arrowverse and now is expanding beyond just our reach in TV and going into the comic book world so for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.